leads the way. Navjot Singh Sidhu is uh, behind him. There's the man padded up as night watchman. They might only be on one over, two overs. I just sent Cumbly in straight away. So the first uh, runs of the innings. Oh, how do you play that? How do you play that? That's out. You have no chance of playing that. That's what I say about this pitch. It's a killer. Well, they struck exactly what they wanted, West Indies. And it's a big wicket. Well, ball, Franklin Rose are pitching it up, but very difficult to play that. Almost impossible. Little cuckoo catch at third slip. Oh, three for one. Dream start for West Indies there. One for one this morning. Well, that looks like a no ball, isn't it? Is that another one? Can't be, surely. Another no ball, gets a wicket. Well, yeah, he hasn't a lot of time to play that to do anything. The irregular bounce did for him. Oh. That looks a no ball to me. I don't know about you, Tony. Just over. Hooper not being able to get around. Oh, what's out? Really well bowled by Rose. Right in the slot. And uh, again, I think Glove. Rather than edge of bat. But Rose is the danger man this morning. Yes, he is. And Rahul Dravid, when he looks at the replay will say to himself that maybe maybe just maybe he could have dropped his wrists but this is a very difficult wicket to bat on it can get the best of batsmen out batsmen with good technique can be got out rahul dravid is one such he's out for two india 16 for two well the match may well hinge around this man sachin tendulkar the 23 year old captain of india 51 test matches already 92 in the first innings and uh, the player with the most natural quality in uh, the world game with the possible exception of his opposing captain in this match he's at the crease because uh, Raul Javid got a snorting delivery here comes Ambrose four what a super shot that is from Latchman Ambrose is back into the attack after his one over from Ian Bishop and that was something of a loose nut Latchman was onto it like a flash He's bowled in! VVS Lakshman playing all around it. This one was a delivery that was pitched up and went through his defence. And the West Indian crowd here, a static. India 32 for 3. This is exactly what the West Indies want. A man that's going to pitch the ball up and keep it up. That's what Franklin Rose has been doing and he has gotten the rewards. Three wickets to Franklin Rose, three wickets to the West Indies, India now 32 for three. Edged and taken by Lara. This is a big blow for India. Brian Lara has done it. It wasn't an easy catch here to move forward. But Bishop has taken the outside edge and back goes the Indian captain. Four down for 32. That's a very important wicket for the West Indies. And Ian Bishop, the man that has bowled so well throughout this test match, again a well pitched up delivery. Sachin Tendulkar looking for the drive and Brian Lara taking a very good catch. Low down to the ground, but he got his fingers under it and held it well. 
It's 32 for four and India in deep trouble. He's bowled in. This time he's beaten the outside oh. edge and found the off stump. So the tall man has struck. He looked good in this over and he's been rewarded. Well, Brian Lara has tried everything with Kurt Ambrose to get him on song, and that was a beauty. Reasonably well pitched up delivery. Ganguly leaving a gap between bat and pad, and Kurt Ambrose finding that gap. 45 for 5 India. That cut very, very low. As her name could do nothing about it. Ambrose strikes. All this while the ball's been coming at your face and now the ball scoots around your ankles. And while Thumbley comes in, India have now lost all their specialist batsmen. Here was the last to go. Well, you don't want to get too far forward to Kirtley Ambrose on a pitch like this because the ball's been coming at your face. Hazard therefore waiting like Sauro Ganguly did on the back foot and then the ball keeping low. What can you do? Another no ball, so we've had seven. In the air, holders waiting for it. That's it. Not too many batsmen would have flourished on this pitch, I can tell you that. Anil Kumble is a lower order batsman trying to turn it to leg. The bat turning in his hand and that outside edge going as a simple catch to roll and holder at square leg. India in deep trouble. Seven down for 57. the off stump on the way so the West Indians striking after lunch getting the important wicket of the Indian wicket keeper came through at a normal height just clipping the top of the off stump 6 to 6 for 8 so Abhi Kuruvilla comes out to the middle of the fall of Nayan Monge's wicket an error judgment here by Monga just leaving that one thinking it would bounce over the off stump or just miss it unfortunately for him just came back a bit just kiss that off stump it's in the air and just eluding Kirtley Ambrose this time that's in the air and will be out Roland Holder is the catcher Kirtley Ambrose doesn't usually take wickets like that he has on this occasion, and the crowd have loved it. There's a mini invasion. I think that's uh, too good for the game. Well, Kuruvilla had got away with a similar shot a couple of uh, deliveries earlier. This time, he hasn't. Another simple catch to roll and hold up. Remember, he took that brilliant one to get rid of Sachin Tendulkar in the first innings. This is a simple catch. India, nine down for 80. Venkatesh Prasad is the new batsman and the man I feel most sorry for is the end of Kuruvilla. Kuruvilla had done all the hard work yesterday, bagging his first five wicket haul. But he really can't be expected to score runs on a surface like this. That's it! The third test match is over and won in dramatic style by the West Indian, Brian Lara, in his first test as captain of these great islands, goes to hug his fellow Trinidadian, Ian Bishop, who finishes with four wickets, and Brian Lara can barely believe this has happened. There's Courtney Walsh, there's joy in that dressing room. This is a brilliant effort. That extraordinary scorecard. Only one man, the opener of the VVS Lachman, making double figures.